All right, guys, so this is a video for a project share, and Miss Judy Parker, I am sorry that I'm late. Um, life has really got a hold of me. It's took me a lot to get, I don't, I don't know how to say this. It's took me a lot to get my crafting mojo back. It's just been hard for me. Um, I got a lot going on right now, and... Yeah, so I'm sorry, Miss Judy. I am sending you this journal, and I'm also sending you a few extra little goodies with it just to say I'm sorry. So I'm going to share this with you. So Judy, if you don't want to see it, please turn away. <laughs> so here we go. This is what her uh, journal is. Now, she made me an album, and I'm just not good at making albums. I can make six by six albums, but I'm just not good at making them. So... She said that I could make her a junk journal because she likes them. So I took the glittery thickers and put her name. I took the butterflies. I think the front of this just turned out gorgeous. Flowers. I always do my corners on my books. And I put the eyelets to where it holds the book shut. With the, I don't even know what you call this stuff. But it's very, very pretty. So, gorgeous. And then on the side here, of course, we have a tassel. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see. Inside here, we have Cameo. And then we have lots of little uh, fibers and fun things in here. We have a little thimble because Miss Judy was a quilter, and I thought that kind of fit. And then we have another little cameo here with a little bow and a tassel. Just thought it was super duper cute. And then we have a little flower. So I just think it's a very shabby looking tassel. Very, very cute. So let me zoom back out. Okay. Now let's get into this. The back is just blank, of course. I don't ever do anything with the back of them. Because you don't really look at the back of a journal, do you? Nope. Okay. So I got lace on the side here to sh just kind of cover the spot. But then we got a big bag here. And these are digital prints back here, guys. And this is a big tag. And I just used sorry ribbon. So um, I used a lot of the collection I bought for Miss Brittany's uh, journal that I'm going to make her. It's a Paris theme. So I used a lot of that throughout this. Like this dress right here. This is a tuck spot. And I left a lot of it blank to where she can do what she wants. If she wants to journal or if she wants to put pictures, whatever. So a lot of it is blank. I did ink on the corners. I made some clips for it. Here's just a digital print. A book page. And this is a tuck spot with just a little postcard in there. So I did do a lot to it, but then again, I tried to leave it blank too. So this is a digital print also. Coffee filter, digital print. I think it's so pretty. Coffee filter. I love how this music paper, me and Brittany found this at an antique store or something. The ones that still have the stickers on them and things. <coughs> So I thought it was cool to add that in there. <clears throat> There's a little boat or glassine bag or bag. She can do whatever she wants to it. So I did some things to some of it, but then I left a lot of it blank so she can do what she wants. I got lace in between all of the signatures. There is three signatures in this book. I normally don't do three, but I kind of went outside the box on this book. So here's a little tuck spot with a little tag in there. It's on coffee dyed paper. A scrap piece of paper. I thought it fit good in here. I think this one turned out really good. I like this one. This is ledger paper. Glue. <laughs> Here's some more coffee dyed paper that I'm sharing. I cut this envelope to where it's got a spot in there for her. I shared a lot of things that I've been hoarding for a while. Like all these coffee stuff. Because I haven't had time to coffee dye anything. So hopefully we get that done soon. Um, this is just a tuck spot with a little ticket in there. I thought that was cute. Book page. Paper. Just throw us that paper. I just... 
stapled a little banner there on that coffee dyed paper, a doily. And that's the rest of the second signature. Here's some more lace. And it says day by day. Just let that kind of fit. Ledger paper. A little tiny clip that I made. Some sprayed paper that somebody gifted me. I'm not even sure who, you know. I've been hoarding it for so long. Piece of an envelope. Coffee filter. Dictionary paper. I love dictionary paper. Gold paper that Miss Lisa Vargas has made for me. So here's where the Paris stuff I kind of shared. This is a Paris tag. How cute is that? Very, very cute. And I just made this a little pocket and put a flower on it. Some God paper. Like it's a book that's questions about God and stuff. I thought that'd be cool. Um, more dictionary paper. Coffee filter. This envelope. New Concord is like, what, 25 minutes from us, Brittany? Yeah. So I always think that's fun to put one of those in there. It kind of represents uh, us. So, more of that notebook paper. The rest of that sprayed paper. The sparkle card. Ledger paper. There's another Paris tag. thought those were so cute. Just kind of clipped it there. And then back here, this is a Paris digital kit. And I just put that in the back. And then I always put the library card and thing. And then I just put a butterfly there. And on here, I couldn't find my Made in Ohio stamp. I'm going to have to look for it. I don't know where I put it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I just put handmade from the heart and then signed my name. Because I always sign my name in all of these. So, this is my book from Miss Judy Parker. I hope you like it, Judy. Um... Sorry, I'm a little late, so if you guys are seeing this, Miss Judy has probably already got it or it's on its way. So until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.